Hey everybody, this is Joseph here with Millis Construction. I thought I'd do a little video on this freezing cold day that I can't go work or anything. Uh, the roads is just, it's too much of a risk to go today. So I'm going to stay home, stay out of it. It's been freezing, raining now for almost two days. So I'm out in my little shop trailer in the backyard. I've got it plugged in, got my propane heater going, and uh, I'm getting it all organized and ready for another week of work. Got a few things in here the kids needed fixed. A little chair for my daughter and her little jewelry box. She managed to break the lid off one and broke a, the legs loose on the chair. So I'm going to try to get those fixed too today. But thought I'd do a little walkthrough and show you guys what I have in my trailer. At least a small overview. I don't think I've got time to just go in depth on this deal because there's so much in this trailer it's ridiculous. This is a 7 by 21 foot V-nose trailer with a side entry door and a rear drop ramp. Um, it's, it's kind of been a work in progress for a while. It takes quite a bit of doing to get one of these just like you want it. So anyway, I'll show you around and see what y'all think of this. Alright, well here's the side entry door where you'd come in. A lot of times... I need basic stuff when I pop that door open. So right when you come in, I've got screwdriver racks, squares, straight edges, knee pads, some cleaning chemicals, my nitty vac, some extra caulking guns, screws, things like that. Main air compressor is it's built into the air in the trailer, so it's underneath the spare tire there. And router table is built in. Also, it has a switch control on the side to flip it on. It's got a DeWalt two and a quarter horsepower in there and eight feet of end feed. And if you run right on and off the table, you get eight feet of out feed also from the bit. So you can run full sticks of trim through it. It's got all LED lighting in the trailer. There's a rack up top with my router bits. Some of them anyway, cabinet bits, things like that. This up here is a set of the Craig router bars, setup bars. So you can set up your depths you want rapidly. Anyway, makes it pretty fast. I just keep those right up top. Then to going down this workbench, usually I have trim, whatever little boards were left over from the last job. I hate having them on the floor, so they end up right up here on the bench. Up above is a shelf here, and it's got all these DeWalt clear front setups. And they're all just free sitting there. They just are held in with those passive restraints that we like to use so you don't have anything strapped to unhook. Plumbings here at the end, PEX fittings, things like that, screws, electrical, just any kind of extra things that I don't want to carry on my truck. I have a big set in the truck too, but all of these just slide up and right out. Everything just pocket hold to the trailer walls. Haven't had any problems, even hitting railroad tracks, whatever, at pretty good rates of speed. Tandem axles, obviously, on this trailer too, helps quite a bit. Down here at this end has got my saw stop job site saw. I just roll it right up the ramp and it sits right at the end of the aisle. Makes it really nice. First thing in, first thing out off the trailer. And right to the side of it there is my MFT table. I like it a lot on my jobs where I have to be there for a while, especially doing cabinets, things like that. This whole side here is all compartments. I have bench vices on both sides so I can work on little things I need to clamp down. Seems like I always need to do that. Sandpaper. I have a tray of pretty much nothing but hole saws. Sandpaper for my RO125. All kinds of DeWalt bits. And then there's more sandpaper and drywall tools down there. Next one over has more hole saws, doorknobs, jigs, that type of thing. Below that is nothing but hammers and mallets. All kinds of hammers and mallets. Now my good stilettos and things like that, they live on my truck. They're right in the back seat compartment of my truck. 
on down the next one is all uh, the blades for the sawzalls, reciprocating saws, things like that. I've got a big pack of dowels that are pre-cut to the right size to use for setting for mica countertops. Makes that go quickly. Down here at the bottom, extra electrical supplies, cover plates, things like that. A lot of people, you'll come in, there'll be one broken plate or something. It's kind of ridiculous to run to the store for one plate. So now, this is actually, I just stuffed these in here a while ago. This is all extra brad nails, things like that. Glues, finishes, polyurethane, extra bits and pieces of that makes it nice for finishing jobs. And then this is two more trays of electrical supplies down there. On the floor, got my chainsaw, big four foot pry bars, uh, floor scraper, all that. Back here in this compartment, that is all pry bars, bunches of pry bars, and my Bosch. Uh, laser angle setup wood putties one empty bay and then a box down at the bottom that's nothing but uh, electrical boxes wall boxes things like that the other side of my trailer i'll step back here so maybe you can kind of see my other workbench i've got that domino fix that came in yes today actually in the ice poor guy and uh, that's for drilling all my dog holes in the bench here that I'm hopefully going to try to do in the next day or so with my OF1400. Down here, I have all my sandpapers for my various sanders, cases of screws for my Festool uh, screw gun, uh, vac bags, uh, all kinds of things for my sanders and whatnot. Another, le uh, well, this is my Bosch SDS drill there for concrete, scraping tile, things like that. This is my corded skill saw, DeWalt, but I, I only use it for cutting concrete and brick, things like that. It lives with a masonry blade on it. I use my battery one for everything else. Down here is tool bags and my Bosch planer is down in there. This one is more blades, dado stack, that type of thing. I keep my big cabinet clamps, my big 48 inch ones, live right there. I haven't found a better location for them yet. And here... Another Sawzall. Um, the big bay right under the bench here. This end has everything for my table saw. More brakes, my Incra Miter 1000. Uh, feather boards, push sticks, extra inserts for the top, blades, all of it. Then a lot of DeWalt tool there. I don't run anything but 20 volt. So it's all Sawzall, jigsaw, multiple lights, things like that. Plumbing supplies are on this end, wrenches, basin wrenches, bunch of uh, rigid pipe wrenches, glues, uh, things like that, pipe cutters, everything you'd need for plumbing pretty much, all my PEX tools, all that. Next one down is heat gun and a roto zip. I don't use that roto zip very much, I use it a couple times, I'm not really a big fan of it. Down here on the bottom, bolt cutters and my uh, Pam Fasten Master gun. That's the industrial glue gun, hot melt. Oh, let's see, staying under the benches, underneath here on the rolling sis cart, I've got an ETS-125, my CXS, and my RO-125, sanders and a small drill set. Then I keep my ball stitch. Uh, that's my nice flooring nailer. I keep it right there. Uh, miscellaneous stuff here. Just things I tend to go in and out of the door with quite a bit. I end up reorganizing that bay quite often. Down below it, a whole bay of nothing but tile tools. Spacers, trowels, everything. Over from there is all painting supplies, and that's brushes, everything. I even stick and keep a brand new can of wasp spray in there all the time. That's more needed than you could ever imagine. Underneath there is all my bags of painting points, things like that. Over from there I've got a bag of rags and my DeWalt impact socket set. Coming on down... I keep my extra drop cords, a couple extra air hoses, things like that right there. And there's a big air compressor 
in there also. My big DeWalt air compressor, DeWalt shop vac, whatnot. Keep a blue Lowe's bucket for my trash. Here's what we're running off of for heat in here. Heats this trailer really nice in just a matter of minutes. Up in this front end, I got a couple of the Rockwell jaw horses. The LED lighting from Lowe's, that's Utilitech stuff. It is actually incredibly bright for what it is. And of course, Fast and Master sent me some t-shirts and things like that, which is nice of them. And up here, my DeWalt miter saw stand, my big one, some limb loppers, always got to have a shovel, and a couple of the fast cap third hand poles up there. And my sys roll sits right inside the door there also. The sys roll has the sandpaper sustainer on top, has my PDC drill underneath that, my sheetrock gun under there, OF1400 router, cleaning kit, I'm not sure what's in this one. Oh, accessory kit for the jigsaw. Under that is my Domino DF500 and the Domino assortment sustainer. Here by the door I keep a, uh, a sustainer that I can use to have my things that have to come out of the truck every day. Normally my caulks, glues, things like that that need to stay warm overnight. I try to keep this trailer as a warm environment. Up on top of the benches, I have my Craig Foreman up here, so I can just, I keep it set up to three-quarter material. I can walk in, punch out a cabinet part, a piece to go somewhere, whatever may be broken. I can make it in just a minute. Uh, I've got a clamp press up here. It's not attached, so I can move it anywhere I need to. My MFT rails are right back there. Up above there, it's my Stabila level pack. Those are the extend levels so you can run them out and do jam leveling, things like that. Uh, that on the wall, black there, that's my DeWalt motion sensor for the security system on the trailer. Some fast cap tape measures, little pliers rack, things like that. Right here is the DeWalt uh, security system. That is a really neat thing to get if you're worried at all about your trailer. And I have a 12 inch dual compound DeWalt right here and it actually is mounted on a slide out so all you have to do is just rotate these little holders on each side and uh, well if I can go the right direction there we go and then the saw will slide right forward so you can use the full cutting capacity of it underneath you know I keep my work boots things like that a couple pair of red wings but coming down the bench on top of the bench here, I've been playing a little bit with some dovetail cutting, so I'm a tight mark and some of my Lee Nielsen stuff out. Extra tape measures, sys light, some screwdriver sets, bench dogs, uh, stud finder, miscellaneous things like that. Craig clamps are right on the front, fast tool clamp there, I guess, but everything fairly organized. Extra coping saws for my kids to play with when they come out. Um, T-squares, jigs, pliers over here, Craig clamps. Up in here, it's all Craig screws and jigsaw bits. This is all Craig jigs. Shelf pin jigs. Everything you think of from Craig. I got most of their jigs up there. Uh, all our little stuff there. A little safety equipment here. Got my dust mask. Got two types of uh, plastic gloves. And this is my battery charging setup up here. And I've got my DeWalt uh, camera up here also. But this is what I've done for batteries for a long time. I now, though, have the, the four battery charging power station set up. So I use that a lot more than this but it's nice to have this in here anyway it keeps everything charged down on my bench too i have usb chargers for my phone plug-ins are all along every bench they're underneath the front so like for underneath the miter saw and everything that's a switch activated plug so i can run my dust collection everywhere has that that type of a capability um Anyway, that's just a little overview 
Up top is just lots of Irwin clamps, the quick clamps. A little view down the trailer there. But you can do a lot in this trailer without ever coming out. There's a woodpecker story stick up there. I like their stuff a lot. Anyway, this is what I work out of. Sorry for the little jolt in the video a while ago. I got a phone call right while I was trying to do the video. Anyway, what we look like in here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you got any questions about anything in here, I'd be happy to do a little video on whatever part of it you're interested in. Y'all have a good day and try to stay out of the ice. Catch y'all on another one.